It still devastated me. Um, it's, it's still something I'm working through even now. That's the reaction tonight to what WSMV4 investigates has now uncovered about sober people charged with DUI. We told you last week in our ongoing sobering problem investigations, 609 people have been charged with DUI in Tennessee, and they were completely sober. The drivers we've featured so far were right here in Middle Tennessee, but Chief Investigative Reporter Jeremy Finley found this is a statewide problem. Just moments into his horizontal gaze assessment last November, Henry Esslinger let state troopers know he needs to stop his field sobriety test. I feel very lightheaded, not very well. It's called adrenaline from being in an accident. After rear-ending a tractor trailer, troopers note he has a slurred speech and glassy eyes. I feel very shaky right now from the adrenaline. Troopers suspect he's under the influence. Man, I haven't drank nothing. Are you willing to give blood, though, sir? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'll give blood. I'll do it. Breathalyzer, I'll do whatever. After giving blood, Esslinger is arrested. If you wouldn't mind, just put your hand right here for me. Charged with DUI. Months later, his alcohol and blood work shows he was completely sober. I just felt like I was way too shaken up. From the accident, I, I was still trying to process what all had happened. What's it like to be charged with a crime you didn't commit? This is not, it doesn't feel good at all. Esslinger wasn't arrested in Middle Tennessee. Instead, in Haywood County near Memphis in West Tennessee. Head east to Sevier County, and that's where you'll find the mugshot of Reed Hawley. He slaps the cuffs on me. Arrested by state troopers for DUI in 2019 after showing several clues of impairment and given a breathalyzer. The bottom line is it was all zeros and he showed it to me and I said, oh, really? I said, you think you think you want to let me go now? And he goes, no, you're under the influence of something. But as blood tests showed, no drugs in his system. His DUI charge dismissed, but not before he had to pay his attorney more than seven thousand dollars and cover his own court costs. And I paid the clerk three hundred fifty dollars. And the trooper and another trooper were standing there, and I looked at him and I said, you happy now? I said, you see what you did, what you cost me for this, this mistake? It's pretty costly. How are you going to reimburse me for this? Is the state going to reimburse me for this? He just snubbed me, looked at me like I was garbage, and just walked away down the hall. Head south to Marion County outside Chattanooga, and that's where Nate Collins fought a charge of DUI in possession of a handgun after failing a field sobriety test last year. It was terrifying. I thought it was so surreal, uh, knowing that I was innocent. What did it do to your life to get this DUI charge? I didn't get into grad school. Uh, they couldn't tell me a specific reason for that, for legal reasons. But I do think the fact that I had pending drug charges. We told Collins about the hundreds of other drivers we found just like him across the state. So you're among the 609 innocent people who have been charged with this crime. It just still devastated me. Um, it's, it's still something I'm working through even now. And I think about 608 other people to have gone through that, to maybe not have had the resources I had. Um, I, if I'm honest, I could cry right now thinking about it. I'm confused as to why are these individuals not suing the police department? Why are you guys on the news and not suing? You guys should be getting a lawyer and just suing the department because this is unfair. It's almost like these people was targeted and it seems as if the police department is running a illegal scheme of officers arresting people just to meet their like monthly requirements or something because this is unlawful. I smell a lawsuit. Let me know what you guys think.